check 189. Check one nine zero. And power is internal power is now on in the experiments for Puerto Rico, Kentucky, Hawaii, West Virginia, and Oregon State and Colorado are now on. PLC PTN, police power on experiment five system two. LCROA. I'll say go ahead. Call out actual launcher settings. Actual launcher settings are azimuth 104.6, elevation 79.9. Copy. Check 192. Check 191. ACS check item 193, 194. Check 195, 197. Eminem report TM lock and verify no change in uh, TM signal strength or deviation. TM is locked, no change in signal strength or deviation. Check 200. Check 196. I'm going to verify chart recorders nominal and uh, no change on uh, transponder. Chart recorders are nominal, no change on transponder. Check 203, 204. Check 205. Check 201. Check 202. MM polling for readiness to proceed with launch. ACS. ACS, go. PLC. Go. PTM. PTM, go. SRBO. SRBO is go. MMR, ROA announced NASRAC payload status, go or no go. TD, we've lost countdown clock in the blockhouse. It's back up. One minute. NASRAC is go. Programmer. 50 seconds. Programmer. Minus 40. Minus 30. Carrier armed. Minus 20. Check 214. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. Plus 10. Plus 20. Ignition. And we have sec second stage ignition. Plus 30. Now me burn out. Plus 40. Plus 50. One minute. D 
spin. Motor set. Second stage has separated from the main payload. Nose cone. Nose cone is separated. PTM, did you see after? Yes. And the vehicle has reached Apogee. Apogee is beginning its descent. If you're looking at the graphic, the um, lines coming from the eastern shore are showing the uh, lower line is showing the current position of the vehicle. And we are coming up on expected parachute deploy. All experiment timer events complete.
RSO TD channel one. All right, so go ahead. We clear to bring the launcher down and drop the roadblocks. Uh, roger that, you're all clear. And PM and SRPO, you guys ready to bring the launcher down? SRPO concurs, go ahead. Copy that. LPM concurs. LPM TD. LPM, go ahead. You can lower the launcher when ready and drop the roadblocks. LPM copy, thank you, and work. And the payload is now descending by parachute uh, into the Atlantic Ocean. It will be- Get uh, shield break wire. Will be recovered, and then uh, the experiments will be delivered back later today uh, to Wallops for the students to receive their experiments to get a data analysis. So it looks like we had a successful flight today. Launch time this morning was at 5:30 a.m. Eastern time. Next launch from Wallops is looking to be mid-September. That will be a Black Brant 9 suborbital sending rocket on a payload technology development flight. So signing off from NASA's Wildlife Facility, have a good day.